Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on this product over here which is from Fenty Beauty. It's her diamond bomb all over highlighter in the shade Rose Rave and if you're curious to find out my views then please keep on watching. Okay guys, first I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who participated in the iPhone giveaway. I was so overwhelmed with all the response I got and really motivated to do more giveaways in future. Uh, congratulations to Vishal Anumolu who has won this first giveaway on my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing one very soon. So. If you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if this video reaches 5,000 likes then I will do another giveaway very soon so please share like subscribe and all good things okay guys so let's get started I'll just read some key information from Fenty Beauty website or from wherever I purchased it about this product so it is Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Whale in the shade Rose Rave. And they just say about it, it's one of a kind diamond dusted highlighter that applies like a 3D glittering whale delivering pure show stopping sparkle all over the face and body. Diamond Bomb features a unique jelly powder formula that's bouncy, cool to the touch and melts into the skin like butter. The highlighter is loaded with 100% pure brilliance to create an all glitz, no grit finish that decks out every skin tone. Plus all of this glittery goodness comes in a faceted jewel like compact you will never want to put down. Um, then they say Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Whale was inspired by the Crystal Deaths Di uh, Rihanna rocked at CDFA 2014. You can never have enough diamonds. This is the closest thing to bathing in it. The sparkle in this is just insane. Rihanna. Okay, so the quantity of this item over here or this product over here is... is... What is it? Do they not see the quantity? Oh yeah, they do. It's 8 grams. It retails for 31 pounds. I made my purchase from boots.com. Um, the website said that the delivery would be in like 7 10 days because I chose the free delivery option. But actually, I got it like in 3 to 4 working days, which was really good and I was really pleased about. In terms of packaging, um, this is how it's packaged it's the normal. Well, not normal, but it's the, the Fenty Beauty Diamond Whale packaging. I have, I already have like the silver one from her, the one that was how many carats. I already have that one. And this is the same formula as this one and the packaging as well. Pretty similar, just this is uh, kind of rose gold because the shade is rose gold. So if you open it up, uh, you get this cute little hexagon comp compact um, and this packaging is like is glitter 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 you cannot have enough diamonds as Rihanna says um, <laughs> once you open it it has a decent sized mirror and the highlighter okay um <clears throat> I think in terms of packaging, Fenty Beauty has really got a good game. I think their packaging is cute, compact, and they definitely get full marks for it. Uh, in terms of the product, okay, I am wearing it on my cheeks right now and I will also insert a clip, like a quick clip of me applying it on. It's a very buttery formula. Ooh. Okay guys, so the formula 
formula of this highlighter is very very soft um i believe you know it is jelly like formula so it's really soft to touch when when you do this you you literally feel like it's a butter and just to compare it with the how many carrots highlighter uh, i believe the formula is quite identical um this one is how many carrots it's a bit dirty because you know all different highlighters get mixed and here is the silver one and it's a little bit more difficult to spot silver on the finger than the rose gold because silver is quite clear um, in terms of application with both these highlighters what i found was that they are definitely more visible or they're definitely more um like you can see them more if you apply it with your fingers so i have tried applying this one with brush and i've done i've used this so many times as well i always feel like the finish is much better with your fingers than with a highlighter brush um in terms of like all over application i definitely personally wouldn't use you know rose gold kind of a shade all over like my body to highlight key points or key areas uh, i definitely just keep it for my cheekbones i probably wouldn't even like i probably wouldn't even use this shade for my bridge of the nose or cupid's bow or whatever i, I think i personally would just use this for my cheekbones whereas this one can be used wherever so in terms of usage i think the silver one is more versatile than the rose gold one so um the formula of these highlighters are way different to the kilowatt highlighters i, I personally prefer these highlighters to the kilowatt highlighters because i think kilowatt highlighters are quite intense whereas these ones are quite subtle i think the best way to describe these highlighters both of these is going to be comparing them to the fairy lights behind me like you can see the glow but you can't really see the wires or where it's coming from similarly for the, this highlighter it just melts into your skin so you can see that there's a like a highlight but you like it's not so obvious it's not so in your face but it's there and it's really nice so um definitely this is a very or one of the very good products from venti beauty it gets a big yes from me and i think now is the perfect time to buy it because almost every retailer not just in uk but around the world is doing this black friday deal so if you get your hands on it now you probably get it at a discounted price which will be good value for money whereas i had to pay full 31 pounds for it um so in terms of like value for money definite yes um i think the only thing would be that i think the only thing would be that for me although i'm obsessed with the rose gold color it's not a color that i can use everywhere you know it's it's not something i would use like on my nose or whatever so in terms of worst worst worse <laughs> in terms of worst okay i can't say this word so in terms of being versatile i don't think that this is going to be your go to highlighter but i think it's a very very good highlighter for your cheekbones um if you only want to buy one whether you know out of these two if you only want to buy one right now I would say you will get more usage out of the silver highlighter than from the rose gold but because I already had silver I really wanted to get my hands on the rose gold because anything rose gold I am obsessed with it I do love this highlighter I I love the formula of this um kilowatt oh sorry of this uh, diamond weight highlighter stuff I'm just not the kind of person who's going to like highlight their whole body so for me it's just basically for my face and decolletage okay so that's it for my views on this product it's a big big yes you just have to make a decision whether you can get much use out of it or not in terms of where you want to spend your money and how apart from that um 
I would really like to hear about your comments. Maybe you can give me some ideas of what my next giveaway should be. Should I do giveaway related to makeup products or maybe some other gadget or something? And please don't forget to hit that like button, press the subscribe button, hit the bell icon and keep watching my videos and sharing. Love you all.